Hi everyone, Ziggy here from Ziggy Zag, and today we are here in Mactan Newtown for the registration day of the Ironman 70.3 Cebu Philippines. Ironman 70.3 is a triathlon event where it involves swimming 1.9 kilometers, then you get on a bike and ride for 90 kilometers. And if that's not hard enough, you then run 21 kilometers to finish the race. Not gonna lie guys, this video was supposed to come out a few days ago before the Ironman event. But since I was also a participant, I was not able to finish editing the video. My apologies and thank you for understanding my dear viewers. In this video, you will see what happens or a glimpse before the day of an Ironman race. Not this Ironman, but this Ironman. In this video, there will still be some food in it, and I'll also show some of the food shops in Mactan Newtown area. In an Ironman event, you do have a choice to do it individually or be in a team. A relay team, which means one does the swimming, Another team member does the bike, and one does the run. Shout out to Papa P! He was supposed to be our biker, but due to some schedule conflicts, we had Bodes to take his place, who's also a very capable bike rider. Alain will do the running for us. Now let me take you inside that white structure over there. That is the Ironman tent. We are now in the entryway and this is what's inside. Take note, this is happening in the new normal. That is why you can see people still with face masks inside. Here's Alaska. Beside it is the Rudy Project. Ironman 70.3 Cebu is supposed to be an annual event. But because of the pandemic, there was no race in the year 2020 and 2021. The races here has always been held at the Shangri-La Mactan. However, for this year, it is the first time to be held here in Mactan Newtown. You have a big wall here of the event schedule. I was able to do an individual Ironman 70.3 before, and this is my first time to do a relay swim event. This tent, by the way, is air-conditioned. The temperature inside is okay because outside this time is so hot because it's around 11 in the morning. There's the salt plus fin shop, a hookah shop there, and this in the middle is the stage. A quick selfie. Aya Vitality Shop, Oakley's. By the way, because we changed our biker, we had to pay an additional $100. So here's a friendly warning. To those who aspire to join an Ironman event, they are pretty expensive, guys. Our team just so happens to be so fortunate that we have some generous people out there who sponsored our registration as well as our expenses. So to our sponsor, I know you'll be watching this video. Thank you so much. We are truly grateful and very appreciative for the opportunity to be able to join this prestigious race. Some of the shops here provide discounted items after the race. Here is the official merchandise store of the Ironman where you can get exclusive Ironman products like bike jerseys, caps, shirts, bags. Here you can see an Ironman cap at 1,450 each. They also have on display previous Ironman Philippine events. There has been some Ironman events in Subic and in Davao, just to name a few. You can pay cash or credit card. They are the last shop and you can head out to the exit after. 
This is what happens during registration. Before they let you in the registration booth, they let you fill out the health declaration form and give you a QR code. After they scan it, you can now go in. They'll request for IDs, for identification and confirmation. Then they let you sign some papers. They take a group picture. Then they hand you over your individual backpacks. Here's mine. We are now officially registered. We got our bags and we are all set. Let's do this. When you exit the tent, this is what they have on display. These are all the names of the participants for this Ironman 70.3 Cebu event. Guys, on our way, sa, we're on our way to the bike transition area. We're gonna check in Bolt's bike. Our biker for tomorrow's Ironman 70.3 here in Cebu. Guys, I would like to take this opportunity to thank my new subscribers as well as my regular subscribers. I am now nearing 200 subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. If you enjoyed the video so far, do me a favor and click the like button. Share this video out there, leave a comment, and please consider subscribing to my channel. Guys, we are now at the bike transition area. This is where they, they will store all the bikes overnight. Once you check in, we leave the bikes inside here for tomorrow's race. Tonight and this afternoon, this place will be one of the most expensive parking spaces in Cebu. El Roto. Thank you. Hi. Kainit ba ninyo, ma'am? Good afternoon. Thank you. Miss, on some oras kutog din, miss. Ah, okay, thank you. Woo! Boats, excited? Yes! <laughs> go, go, go! Go, go, go! Iron Man! Boats, try mo niya. Ako na i-regalo niyo. Ah! Mag ayaw lang yun. Ay, gig pala, big pahon na itong mahanga. Ayun ako balik sa gusto. Ingat ang gusto. L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L
the expensive ones and the most expensive. Okay, park 3004. Now that the bike is checked in, we head here to Mactan Al Fresco. This is where Mactan Newtown's food stalls Al Fresco are located. First shop you see when you enter is Chubi Chubi. They serve Filipino dishes. This is Dancing Plates, which also serves Filipino seafood dishes. We bought tuna belly here. Mrs. Paluto. We bought the pansit as well as the kinukusang baboy or deep fried pork. Charcoal boy grilled and oysters. This is tiktilaok. We bought two grilled chicken meal. Across it is the hand washing station. Hello! There's the female and male restrooms, as well as designated restroom for person with disability. Then there's Lurds, Lechon Baboy, Masiwa Seafood. Sir Tsef. Dadak's Food Shop. Sol's Halo Halo. Ayer's Lechon. Hukad Cafe. Taco Bows Manang Sayong And finally, Shawarma Shack And here are our orders, the pansit The grilled chicken This is the kinukusang baboy Yummy Not the ideal meal though, before an Ironman event the food you ordered was all good. The kinupusan or deep fried pork was crispy. My apologies though, I wasn't able to take a video of the grilled tuna belly because this time we were already hungry. Picture first before eating though. <laughs> because of the Iron Man event, they have this mini parade. This is the Sinulog, which honors the Santo Nino here in Cebu. Sinulog is held every third Sunday of January. I hope to feature it one day in one of my vlogs. So that was it guys for today. Uh, we'll be racing tomorrow. Wish us, um, wish us luck and a safe, safe race for all the Ironman uh, participants. All participants, Ironman 70.3 Cebu participants, God bless you.